in Bros. I can spot a good-looking guy. Tom, Tom, you've actually said that uh, you sell sex rather than pop music. Absolutely. <laughs> so, so which one of these guys out of these 17 grabbed your eye the first time then? Well, I slept with all of them initially, <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> I would be in sort of, you know, and I suppose being a puff as well, you've got to compensate for all of these kind of things, so you've got to be better than everybody else. It's all about money. And sex. And music? Sometimes. Uh, when the success didn't quite go the way Tom wanted it, he lost interest. A letter sacking Brian had been drawn up by Tony and Tom and was presented to John and Terry as a fait accompli. How much money did you actually make out of Bros? Because they've like sort of faded into poverty and oblivion, haven't they? Well, we rip everybody off, man, so it's a <laughs> lot of dough. A lot of dough. The whole book is, is based on untruths. There's no point in suing him over this book simply because he hasn't got any money to sue. He would sort of come into a meeting and he would just demand all of these things. And, you know, we've got to spend two million pounds TV advertising, I want free carrier bags, I want this, I want that, and I want rent boys everywhere we go. And it would kind of... The people around us, some people's faces were contort in horror and others were contort in mirth. Where old fashion managers use threats and intimidation, Tom had a gift for persuading people to do his bidding. They found themselves caught in a false field of his exuberant personality. Anyone drawn into Watkins' inner circle felt hypnotised by him. You don't feel like you're being manipulated. Um, it just feels like you you want to you want to please him, because when you please him, he's the most happy, fascinated man, and that makes you feel like you're walking on air. It's a great feeling. Do you know what I mean? Um, so you just you you do it, and it's not like. Uh, he says, right, you've got to do this, and all like that. He just makes you feel like you want to please him. Do you know what I mean? How do we do it? Please, will someone come and explain to me how to rip him off? Um, and his power to manipulate, you know, a whole label, a whole record company, is, is second to none. He had this ex-convict who just came out of prison for murder, I think it was, and he had him going around London with a stencil, put stencil in E17 on... on every corner of every street and even maybe major bits of works of art and he's probably going to get nicked now but um yeah he had that and it was all it was in your face all of a sudden the e17 was everywhere and that was that was tom i think he was winging it i think because none of us really knew what direction we was going in um and first of all he wanted to um attract like the gay audience and then as soon as like, um, the kids started to warm towards the image and all that, he wanted to go towards the kids. It's all about money. And sex.